Today we're making chicken gizzard soup and I'm gonna show you how to tenderize chicken gizzards. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas. Welcome back to all my regular viewers. If you're new here, welcome. Please check out some of my other videos and hit that like button or subscribe button or both. Let me know how you are liking my content. Okay, so this uh, is probably gonna be a very quick little video. I'm going to tenderize these and make uh, some soup. And uh, by these, I mean chicken gizzards. I was at the store today. It's a small local shop that sells fresh chicken gizzards. They also sell chicken livers and hearts. So I bought one package of hearts and I bought four packages of gizzards. This was all they had on the shelf and I've done that before. So they must wonder what I'm doing. Um, I always buy them out. Um, because they're hard, I mean, it's the only grocery store. I've got all the major chains near me. None of them sell fresh gizzards and hearts. Uh, sometimes I can find them frozen. So I'm gonna quickly weigh them so that I know what I'm dealing with here. And, uh, and then I'll show you uh, the soup that I make, um, which is delicious and I, I love it on, you can have it on protein sparing. It's carnivore, keto, everything. Uh, it's, it's really good. So I just want to weigh these first. What I'll do is once I know how much, uh, how many chicken gizzards I have here, I will figure out the macros for the entire batch. And then you guys can do with that information what you will or what you need. So I have two and a half pounds. I'm just going to dump that into my instant pot and I'm going to weigh these hearts. I don't know if they're the same macros as the gizzards, but I'm going to find out later while it's cooking. That's 12 ounces of hearts. So I just wanted to let you know that one pound of chicken gizzards, according to uh, the USDA website, is 425 calories, only nine grams of fat, 80 grams of protein, and zero carbs. So uh, this, is, this is actually a great addition to your program. Um, so uh, before I start this up, I want to tell you a couple of different ways that you can tenderize your chicken gizzards. Uh, instant pot, obviously, uh, 20 minutes with a cup of liquid. Just make sure you always have a cup of liquid or more in there. Um, takes about 20 minutes to tenderize them in there. You can also put them in the slow cooker. And again, you'd want to have some liquid in there. I would uh, put them in the slow cooker for six to eight hours, you know, basically all day, and they will be super tender. The other way is on the stove uh, in, in a pot, like in a big soup pot or something. Uh, the same amount of gizzards would go in with maybe a couple of uh, cups of water, two or three cups of water, put them on a slow simmer and uh, let them go for a couple of hours and then test one and see if it's tender enough. So you don't need an actual instant pot um, either to make this soup. Um, I, you could do the same thing uh, that we're doing in the slow cooker. Just use the same ingredients, let it cook to, for six to eight hours, um, and same with a pot. Just do exactly the same thing, uh, same ingredients, let it, just let it simmer until uh, they are tender. So uh, I'm gonna show you what's in here. It's very simple. Okay, so in here now, we know I have two and a half pounds of gizzards and 12 ounces of hearts. I will get those macros for you. I'm going to measure out two cups of chicken broth. You can use your own homemade broth. You can, you know, whatever chicken broth you have available to you. You can use water, to be honest. 
Um, I'm using broth because I don't add a lot of seasonings. This broth kind of works for me. Um, I don't have any reactions to it. I'm very minimal on the seasonings. I'm going to put in one teaspoon of this salt and white pepper combination that I use a lot. And that, and that is it. But um, I'm very sensitive to seasoning. So that's why I tend to really hold back. I, you know, if, if, if I was just doing a free for all here, I mean, I would put in a bay, couple of bay leaves, put in, um, you know, all the seasonings that you like in, in a chicken soup, for example. Um, I will be adding some fresh parsley to it. I'm actually going to save some of this parsley for, for later for putting on top, uh, but I'm gonna chop up the stems to go in here because the stems give a lot of flavor. I seem to be okay with parsley. If you are a dedicated 100% carnivore, you can stop here. You don't need to put in the extra parsley. Um, I, just, I just like it for that extra little bit of flavor. And, uh, but it's totally optional. The other thing when this is done, if there's not a, if you feel that there's not enough liquid, you can always add more liquid, um, you know, to your soup. I, I kind of like it mostly meat and uh, not too much liquid. So uh, I'm going to put the lid on and get this going. So make sure that you have the, the, seal, the vent sealed with this thing pointed in the uh, down position. Um, I'm going to put it on manual for 20 minutes. I mean, you could use the soup uh, setting if you have a soup setting. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna press it just for curiosity. I can't remember how long it goes for. It's 30 minutes. So 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna go with the soup setting and, uh, and then I'll be letting it uh, manual release for 10 minutes. Certainly feel free to do this for 20 minutes at manual. They will both work perfectly fine. So I will see you back in the next segment when we're ready to take out the soup. Okay, so I just wanted to show you uh, my new apron. It says ketogenic woman on it. Um, I have a link down below. It's what I call my merch link and uh, it's with Merchinate and there are uh, coffee cups, aprons, t-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, that sort of thing. I gave, uh, I have another apron here. I love this one. Um, I gave it a test run the other day I actually cooked and baked all day with this apron. It says keto happiness, it's got bacon on it. Um, I was kind of worried about having, you know, this color of apron and how it was going to look. I was literally wiping my hands all day long. This has not been washed yet. In fact, I became so uh, fascinated by the fact that there was no stains on here that I took the rest of my coffee cup and I deliberately spilt some on myself. And then I wiped it off with a paper towel. You can barely see it. I mean, obviously it's there because I, I spilt coffee on myself. Um, I'm gonna throw this in the wash and, and see how, how that comes out. But I was really impressed with uh, how it, it's like Teflon or something. I don't know, it's a soft, it's 100% polyester, but it's kind of this soft material that's got a sheen to it that things just roll off. So, um, so there's that one. And then there's this other design I haven't I haven't worn this one yet. I have to put my the straps button on, but I love this Andy Warhol avocado. Anyways, uh, just to, this is just to say, uh, just check out my my merch. Um, I appreciate any support on my channel that that I can get. It kind of helps me keep things going here, and uh, I like I said, appreciate it so much. I'm waiting for uh, my mug to arrive and a couple of shirts. And uh, as soon as I get those, I'll model them for you. So, so yeah, check it out. Thanks. All right.
right, so this has been natural releasing for 12 minutes. Let's see if, uh... oh, there's still a little, <laughs> that always shocks me when it makes that noise. So there is still a little bit left. We'll just let that go. So while that's releasing, um, I looked in the fridge and remembered I had some leftover noodles in there. These are leftover from my enchiladas. I used my noodle recipe to make enchilada wraps. And that video for the chicken enchiladas should have been released a couple of days ago. So um, uh, yeah, the leftovers are going to be noodles for in the soup. So it's actually going to be gizzard noodle soup. They are completely optional. They're also 100% carnivore. They're just made out of chicken and eggs. So, and maybe some salt. So they will be a perfect addition to this carnivore soup. Okay, the lid's coming off. Ooh, there they are. So, look at those. These are going to be good. Okay, I am going to, this is my, my lunch, although this is gonna be several lunches. I'm going to throw in my handful of parsley and my, I think this is a probably, I'm pretty sure this is less than half a recipe of the noodles. I'm gonna link the carnivore noodle recipe down below. They're also protein sparing friendly. And they hold up really well in soup. So they just need warming. Um, but even if I have this in the fridge for a week, um, because it'll take me a week to eat all this soup, they will be fine. They won't, uh, they don't fall apart. So, um, which is really good. Um, I do want to mention, um, because we've been talking about protein sparing in this video, the hearts, I think if you want this soup to be protein sparing, uh, leave out the hearts because what I found when I looked up the hearts on the website uh, is that they have more, they have more fat. Where did I write that down? I don't know where I wrote that down, it's not there. Um, anyways, they're a lot higher in fat than the gizzards are. So the macros may or may not fit in a protein sparing day. If it's gizzards alone, uh, it's perfect. It's, uh, it, it, is, it does fit into protein sparing macros. So I just wanted you to know that. Um, but again, I will post that down below um, because at this point I'm not 100% sure. They just seemed a lot higher, the fat grams for the hearts. I didn't put very many hearts in here compared to the gizzards. And I don't know really how many servings this is, quite a bit, I think. Um, I'm going to uh, scoop out my lunch and give this a try. So that would probably be about what, what I would eat for lunch. Um, but let me try, I want to make sure this is nice and tender, I'm, I'm pretty sure it will be. Try the broth first. It's good. I might add a little bit of salt, I might add a little bit of salt to that. But I want to try a gizzard. Mm. They almost melt in your mouth. They are so good. So let's get a shot of this soup. Homemade soup, just in time for the winter season and cold and flu season. This is your best bet, I think. Okay, so I'm going to go and enjoy this for my lunch. Um, I hope you try it with or without the noodles. Uh, I, I ate it all last week with no noodles in it. Um, but adding the noodles, I mean, look at that. It gives it a bit of color. It gives it, you know, it makes it feel like you're eating noodle soup. Uh, and you are. Um, it's very tasty. So I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you on the next video. Chicken gizzard soup. Oh, it's ah. it, it is delightful. I ate it all up by myself. Now I need more.
more, more, more. Hi, Kitty. So you don't need. I will get that. I will get that. I will get those macros for you. See? 